friends welcome back to my channel boy today is super 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 hot um for today's vlog i know that i did a review of sharpeners earlier in this channel's history so just go to the library and you'll see those but today i want to give you more tips <laughs> Primarily talking about sharpeners. I know, right? It is not necessarily a sexy subject like art supplies or colored pencils or markers, but it is a vital subject to know. So now the question becomes what type of sharpeners I use? I primarily use about four different types of sharpeners and sometimes if i feel a little sexy i will use the fifth one but i usually like crank sharpeners and let's go down to top down view so you can see my favorite sharpeners okay okay so these are the four crank sharpeners i use I got into crank sharpener thanks to this little boy here. This was my first crank sharpener that I got. I actually got it at Daisio. And I guess now you're thinking, wait, Daisio, the $1 Japanese store? Yeah, I got it there. Um, where I studied to get my post-grad degree or my master's degree, um, they had a Daisio not far from the dorm where we stayed. And we would go there all the time because it's only like a buck. So we go to the Daisio to get supplies and stationaries. And they had this little sharpener there. And I thought it was so cute. And I fell in love with it. And it's actually not, it's a crank sharpener by design. But it's not actually a true crank sharpener because it does come with a traditional sharpener thing in there. Let's see if I can remember how to put this back in. And, uh-oh, I think I forgot how to put it back in. So it is not a, a true crank sharpener in fashion. But I fell in love with it and I loved it. And it just turns, it does pull out. And does have the little thing to grip the pencil in place. So yeah, this is where I fell in love with crank sharpeners. Now, the reason I have so much, it is thanks to the pointer pastel pencils. Now, I think I've also featured those a couple times on this channel. The I bought those pointer pastels here in Belize and I didn't know how to sharpen them. I have sharpen them with the traditional sharpener and they constantly break now the newbie because when i bought those pointer pastel pencils it was when i was just getting into art so i really didn't know a whole lot about pastel pencils or coloring pencils for that matter i just thought they were interested looking or interesting looking pencils that's all i thought about them and when trying to sharpen them it just caused me a headache and I went to my stationery store here in Belize and I saw this little boy here, which is the basic crank sharpener. Again, very inexpensive. And I tried to use these with the pointer pastel pencils and it, it just wouldn't go. It keep breaking, it keep breaking. I didn't know what to do. Um, I tried to do reviews of the pointer pastel pencils, try to look for reviews about them on YouTube. I tried Google it. I, I couldn't find any information about them or how to sharpen them. Now, I keep saying pointer pastel pencils because I thought that was just it. It was just pointer who made an interesting looking pencil. And I it was later on in becoming on this journey to art, I learned that Pointer isn't the only company that makes pastel pencils. And so, you know, I could have used any art reviewer channel to learn about pastel pencils. 
But like I said, I was just getting into art and I wanted to know how to sharpen them. I got this to sharpen those pointer pastel pencils and it just won't work. So I went back to my stationery supply store because at the time I didn't know about this bad boy here. And they had this crank sharpener. And the only reason I tried crank sharpeners is because I tried the traditional sharpeners. Let me grab one of them here. I tried these. And these didn't work. And then I tried the metal one. This one here. Which at that time was one of my best metal sharpeners. And this didn't work either. This is a helix sharpener. And this is just a generic 25 cent sharpener that you can buy here in Belize. And these didn't work either. So I thought maybe a crank sharpener would have worked better with those. So I went back to the local stationery supply store. And then they had this one. This is an exacto uh, suction crank sharpener. And the beauty about this boy, let me move these out of the way, is that this sharpener here has this little thing here, this rubbery suction cup here. And what it does it is used to fasten itself onto a permeable surface. Now, I learned that the hard way because the first art corner that I had, I didn't have a permeable surface. I just had a normal wooden surface and the this would not hold on to that at all it was like just like this you know it will try suction so I really couldn't use this and I bought it and the thing with this is it didn't come with any instruction so it was not like oh it said oh you have to use it on a permeable surface it just came in a container and it shows the little suction action that you put it onto the surface, you flip this little lever and it suctions up and it's able to hold the pencil in place so you can sharpen, see? So this is what will happen when I try to sharpen a pencil with this when I first got it and it was just frustrating to work with. And now you're seeing pencil shaving in it. So obviously now I learned it has to be a permanent surface. And let me show you in the next take how I'm doing this one now. Okay, so when we moved in here, uh, my husband got me this new art desk because I was first using the patio furniture. I don't want to say, but that's what I was first using. And the surface for the patio furniture wasn't really permeable. So my husband got me this new desk. And this desk, though wooden, has like a seal on it. So... And the first day I tried it, so let me see if this would work. So I put my sharpener on this. I hope you guys can see it. Let me put it a little closer here. And I just flip the lever. And voila, it got stuck. See, it's not moving. The whole thing is moving, but this is not moving. The entire camera is moving, but this is not moving. It got stuck. And this is now how... I'm now using this as one of my main sharpeners because I can use it now. I mean, before it was like, ah, just all over the place. And so it got stuck. And, oh, it's still stuck. See? Don't worry. This is just where the, um, because I, I oil my desk from time to time. So this is just, this can easily remove. It doesn't leave any marks. So I can see it's just that. And I just used it on the corner here. Sometimes I would put it this way. But I, for the most part, I just leave it in the corner here. And I just use it here on the side. And it stays stationary. It works fine. But again, it couldn't use pastel pencils. Those pointer pastel pencils were driving me crazy. What can I do to sharpen them? And then I just removed the pointer's name and I put pastel pencil in there and then is where I learned you had to use a blade where's the blade I have one one next to me this so for the most part I was using these to sharpen the pointer pastel pencil and it wasn't working out I mean when I get sometimes to the blade when I get the blade to the lead and I'm now 
forming the lid, trying to create a sharp point on the lid, I will sometimes break the lid. And that was frustrating. So again, I went back, I did more research, and that's when I got this sharpener here from AliExpress. And this works fine for pastel pencils. It has four holes, one for large pencils, one for medium-sized pencils, one for small pencils, and one to sharpen the point. And, and for the most part, this works fine. I don't have a problem with it. But it's a little bulky. I mean, look how big it is. <laughs> you know? Went back, did some research, and thanks to a lovely YouTuber named channel named The Art Gear Guide, he talked about pastel pencils, and one of his favorite sharpener is this little boy here, the MNR Double Dual Ended Sharpener, and I tried it. It worked fine. The only problem with it, it's a manual sharpener, so I have to be all the time. And it cost me a pretty penny. So, not it wasn't that expensive. I got it on sale. But yet, you know, I'm used to paying 25 cents, believe, for a sharpener, you know? Like this. I'm not used to paying in dollar signs. I'm used to paying like 25 cents. So, I rarely use it. And then I was thinking maybe MNR has a crank sharpener because I love crank sharpeners. And then this is where this came in. So I just recently got this. And this sharpened pastel pencils too. And finally, finally, I found a sharpener, a crank sharpener that came for sharpened pastel pencils. And that's where my journey in crank sharpeners has ended. There is a, 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 this is not the fourth crank sharpener. This is actually the fifth. The fourth one is a stationary star sharpener that is mounted onto my bookshelf. And I will turn the camera around and show you that because I got that shortly after I got this one, thinking that maybe in, the pastel pencil needed a stronger, more industrialized sharpener for it. So I got it that one, and let's look at that one right now. Okay. This is the wall-mounted Exacto L crank sharpener. It is such a beautiful sharpener. Yeah, shavings in here too. Uh, yeah, see? This is my heavy duty industrial boys. I love this sharpener. So, and it's all metal, which makes it very, very, very heavy duty. Oh my goodness, I cannot. Okay. Makes it very, very heavy duty. The drawback with this sharpener versus the MNR is that it's the amount of uh, the, the size of pencil can take. I think this can only take up to a six millimeter size pencil, while this one can take up to 11 millimeter. So this is way more versatile than this, even though this is more heavy duty. I mean, this bad boy grinds through everything, literally just pop, 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 but it doesn't work for pastel pencils. Only this one works for pastel pencils in my view. I'm sure there are other more um, sharpeners out there. I mean, when I did the, when I was doing the review, let me guys talk to you and, and tell you what I've learned, okay? Okay, like I was saying, when I was looking into investing in a really good pastel sharpener, um, there were a lot of YouTube videos that I, I watched. I know I watched the Art Gear Guide. I watched um, Jason Morgan. I've also watched... I think her name is Painbridge, Christy Painbridge. I, I remember her name. I will try to link, find those videos and link them in my um, description below for this vlog so you guys can see some of the videos that I watched. Um, and I also did a lot of reading up. I do the same thing I, I said in a previous video that I do when I'm looking to invest into buying art supplies where I 
look at the YouTube videos, I read the Amazon reviews, and I think I also read some reviews for Amazon UK, and I think I read some reviews on Walmart about these sharpeners. So I really read a lot of, um, I do a lot of research before investing into something, even if it's just a crank sharpener. I I really look into it and from what I have learned whenever they talk about some of the best crank sharpeners there is this that boy is usually within their top 10 somewhere in the top 10 if it's number one it's number one if it's number two it's number two sometimes it's number five but it's usually in the top 10 and that's why I got it I'm not saying this is the best one I'm just saying that in all the stuff that I've reviewed, this MR sharpener is usually in the top 10. So that's why I got it. And because I've already previously got the MR um, dual uh, hold sharpener, I just wanted to maintain that uniformness of having MR, Mobius and Rupert products. And that's basically it. I mean, I told you, I actually do use the same advice I give you when it comes to shopping where I do my reviews to figure out what is the best. Just that the crank sharpener thing isn't that I'm so in love with. I do like crank sharpeners, but if I would have known in the beginning when I started this journey, um, learning what is the best sharpener for the pointer pastel pencils, if I would have got this from the beginning, I wouldn't have gotten any other sharpeners. It's just that, you know, I bought it here and I was new and I didn't realize that those pencils were actually very special and they require a very, very special type of sharpener. If you don't want to use the blade, you know, it does require a very special type of sharpener and it's best to do the research to figure out which sharpener is best for you. And thank goodness that was on a sale too. I got that on sale. So also look out for sales and discounts and coupons because it really kind of lets you save some money when invested in art products. Just saying. And with that, I'm going to end this vlog. I think I blabbered on enough. And thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.